This is not the type of sandwich that you want to be in. It's it. It's the Wolfsburg preview on Full Time Devils. How's it going? It's Gaz here. And with Andy Tate and with Stephen Alson, we're here to discuss our... Let's face it, it's a must-win game, isn't it? We, we, let's not worry about what PSV are going to do. We have to win this game. Halson, do you agree? Um, absolutely must-win game. Absolutely must-win game. It's, uh, it's unacceptable to not get out of the group. We was handed pretty favourable draw. No one was like, ooh, that's a bit tasty. No, we all said, yep, we can get out of there, no problem. The same things that's haunted us in the league, has haunted us in the Champions League, just an inability to score goals. I feel strangely confident of going there and getting the result we need though we we said earlier that we dominated them at home I think we can go there and do it again we just got to be a little bit more clinical in the final third and I think we'll uh, we'll be in that pot come the knockout stage it says a lot as well because I agree that we did completely dominate them at home but we only won by one goal but for, they scored an own goal early on and you know that bit of luck could be what could knock us out the Champions League so hopefully uh, we're not going to Andy do you agree that we need to win this game no matter what yeah win is a must um, by any means necessary if it comes to it because it, it's crunch time and uh, yeah we've been in good positions and we've not taken advantage yet and this is the game otherwise it's Europa League now I know two people with completely contrasting views about Louis van Aal Andy I watched your fan cam the other day now uh, yes they should say and I know that um you know, I know that it's straight after the game and emotions are running high and sometimes, you know, you just come out with things. But what would you actually do with Louis van Gaal if we weren't going to go through? Do you reckon it's actually got to the point where we consider sacking a manager? It's not my call to make, is it? It's the power Give us your opinion, though. I still keep him, but he really has to earn his crust and his keep now because you can't just not sit there on a touchline, play with your clipboard and he's number two. Everyone's different, I know that. Fergie was right down at the touchline. He, he was always barking out orders. Like even get even get Giggs here motivate him come come down to the touchline. I agree, I agree with that definitely, because Giggs could, couldn't he? He, he could, he could, because he knows what the United cause is. And some of them lads, like I say, you could even say playing for the futures. I'm not saying they will, but um, if we go out of the Champions League, are you going to attract players? In January. Exactly, exactly. And, um, you know, Andy put in a lot of pressure there on Louis van Aal. And we know the game's just going to be made even more tough for him because of the amount of injuries we've got. Um, Herrera and Schneidlin, both not in the squad. And uh, a little guy called Wayne Rooney. But I'm not sure if I'm really that bothered about him being out injured. What do you think? Um, if what's come out is true about Wayne Rooney. Okay, so let's just clarify. These are just rumours at the minute that we don't know are true, if are true or not. Personally, I very much doubt it, but there are rumours that Rooney was left out the squad because he turned up to training with, was it a too much, a high alcohol? High alcohol blood content after a blood test apparently is what's, what's come out. If that's true, then I don't understand how he could be kept on as captain, and that I don't want to. I don't want to go too far into that. But um, as it as he stands at the moment, Wayne Rooney is not an asset to the team. He's more of a hindrance to the team. And I would like. I'm gutted Herrera's missing it because I think from the game the other night, if we'd have put a Herrera in instead of Fellaini, I think we would have easily got the result we needed. Uh, he does offer that extra sort of umph, if you like. I think we can go. I think we can do it. The, the, the squad is there, capable. It's thin but it's, it's easily good enough to go there and do what we need to do. Definitely. I think talking about Rooney in terms of his performances is where I don't think we're going to miss him too much because he hasn't been great this season. But in a game like this, when you really need to win, maybe this would have been the perfect opportunity for him to step up, but he's not in the squad. Andy, are we going to miss those players? I think we're really going to miss Herrera and Schneidlin. Yeah, I think we are. Um, I don't think we're going to miss Rooney. We, didn't, we, we, didn't, we played well Saturday, but we, we didn't miss him Saturday. But uh, yeah... Really bad injuries and uh, like I say, me personally, I'm not confident. I'm not confident at all. Don't I, say I don't, that. I don't think we're going to lose, but I don't think we're going to win. Nil-nil. 1-1. <laughs> one, one, but it could... a, free, a, a draw could get us through but, uh, and that would save uh, Louis van Gaal's skin. It, but... would be, it would be the luckiest thing in the world though if we were to draw and still go through because we'd need PSV to get a draw as well in Moscow. But to be fair though, Moscow have a lot to play for because they want to get in the Europa. Yeah, they say, like you say, Everything's on the table now. The cards have been played. Dan Dates down to 90 minutes of football. And to be honest, right, if, we, if we're not going to go through, if someone said to me now, you're not going to go through, I'd rather us lose and somehow finish bottom of the group because I don't want to be in that Europa League. I don't want to be doing Thursday night aways in Kazakhstan. Cannot be bothered with that. Well, um, so, so we've got like, a, yeah, definitely. We've got like a thinning squad now. What players would you actually play? Uh, the, the back four is probably going to pick itself. I would like to see Varela giving another shot. 
Obviously, I've been campaigning. Yeah, I think yeah, I am yeah. driving the Varela bandwagon. Yeah, I think you are. Uh, so I would like to see Varela given another shot. Damian at left back. Um, stick with Blind and Smalling. I can see why he chose to mix it up and and play someone, some say out of position with Damian. But he has played left back quite a lot. Keep that centre centre half partnership together because that's where a lot of our clean sheets are coming from. Is their understanding? They're working with Decay. Keep that together. We're probably going to have to go with Schweinsteiger and Carrick as the midfield too. Whatever. And then up front, I think we go for youth. I think we go for pace. And I want to see Lingard on the right. I want to see Memphis on the left. Mata in the middle, dictating and pulling the strings. And Martel up front. And if that team can't get the job done, then we don't deserve to get the job done. Andy, who plays for you? I'll go with the same way. What Allison's just said, um, we're stuck on injuries. But uh, yeah, yeah, that sounds like a sound squad. And uh, yeah, a couple of the youngsters is what the uh, Manchester United uh, tradition is, isn't it? Bl breeding up youngsters and they're doing well definitely and uh, Wolfsburg worried about anyone Bentner <laughs> Lord Bentner could change a game on a console but maybe not in real life um, I think it's the same old same old that we've got we are going to dominate possession we are going to probably dominate the game in terms of pressing in terms of where we hold our possession the only thing that's going to come down to this is are they going to hit us on the break possibly they had a couple of quick players and they did hit us on the break a couple of times last time and you know, they didn't manage to convert. The problem is, are we going to finish the chances that we get? Because that is the only thing that we... If we do, then we could put several past them. Don't think we will. I think we'll probably just ease it, though. Score. Ah. Uh, Please, just say, say we'll win. Say we'll if win. If I was a betting man, I'd be putting money on nil-nil. <laughs> um, I'm going to go a little bit more hopeful. I'm going to say 1-0. We might even squeeze a 2-0 if they feel they need to come out of the shell a little bit. I don't think they even will come out of the shell, to be honest, because they won't have to the whole game. It's going to be a big worry that. Uh, Andy, are you sticking with your 1-1 prediction? Yeah, I can't call this. I don't, I don't, you don't know what to expect now with United at the moment. That's it. I think, you know what, I think we'll play the same as West Ham, but we'll have a bit more of that look. We'll, we'll get a goal in the first half. If we get a goal in the first half, like Alison says, they'll open up a bit. We'll get a couple more. I'll say 3-1. I'll say Sod it. 3-1. Is that You're optimistic? Confident. We're going through to the next round of the Champions League. You're confident. Probably going to be completely wrong. Anyway, guys, that has been the Wolfsburg preview. Absolutely massive game for Manchester United. We need to win to go through to the next round of the Champions League. Get your comments in below. Give this video a like. Give this a share. And subscribe to us at Full Time Devils. So, last time this happened, Ian was absolutely buzzing. He'd read your negative comments and was galvanised and felt that this was going to be his time. He took a 1-0 lead and nine minutes later was 3-1 down, lost the game as West Ham. So here he is as Wolfsburg 